Today, I'm going to show you how to install Digiview on just about any Android phone or tablet. Digiview is an Android app that allows you to get a live preview from your DJI FPV goggles, versions 1 and 2. According to the GitHub page, it should work with Android OS 7.0 and up, and devices supporting USB host mode. It currently doesn't support iOS users. You can install Digiview on your Android phone or tablet, but today I'm going to be installing it on a Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite, specifically the 64GB version, as it boasts 4GB of RAM. The tablet frequently goes on sale for about $120, which is a great alternative when considering that a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B is being sold at super inflated prices. Okay, to start we have to download the AZ Screen Recorder app from the Play Store. I recommend downloading this app even if your phone or tablet comes with screen recording native as the app allows for more control on the quality of the screen recording. Next we're going to change a couple of the settings here such as 720p resolution, 12 megabit bitrate, 60 frames per second, and landscape orientation. Everything else is personal preference, but the first four options I mentioned are important for this to work correctly. Okay, now we're going to download Digiview from the Play Store. Once the app is finished installing, go ahead and open it up. You really don't have to change any of the settings, and you can leave the performance video preset to default. Now turn on your goggles, then plug in your drone battery and wait for the video to show up in your goggles. If you want to screen record your flight on your Android, tablet, or phone, now is the time to open up the AZ Screen Recorder app and start screen recording. Once you've started the screen recording, open up Digiview again. Just be aware that while you're using Digiview, you will be unable to record DVR on the goggle. Once the video shows up in the goggles, you can take the USB-C cable and plug it into the goggles USB-C port. Take the other end with the OTG adapter and plug it into the phone or tablet. If your USB-C cable or OTG adapter doesn't work, then try a different cable as not all USB-C cables are created equal. Give it a second and voila. This is DVR from the tablet with all the previous settings. I noticed a couple of times during my testing that the video appeared a little jerky. But overall, it makes for a great little external monitor for your DJI goggles. I've also included a little bit of footage of me trying to screen record in 1080p. It doesn't really work on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite, but you might have better luck on a more powerful device. <laughs> 